Welcome to the Talk Condo Release Radar, and today we're going to be talking about one of the first major launches of the fall, and that is Mirabella Condos, the West Tower. Um, my name is Roy Bandari, and I'm joined today by Mike Santos and Amit Bandari, and we are platinum agents for Mirabella Condos. So, um, just to give a quick overview, Mirabella Condos, uh, this is the second tower. Mm -hmm. uh, about a year ago, the first tower was launched and uh, it's sitting about 70-80% sold. Um, and what we're going to talk about today is, is some of the key things that really made people excited about the first tower. Um, the second building is mostly mirrored mm -hmm. of the first tower, uh, both are 38 stories. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the key points. So the first one that people really got excited about for Mirabella was the views. Sure. Um, so talk to us a little bit about why people got so excited about the views. So we have forever views. That's the big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, oftentimes people are always worried about, you know, if I buy in this project, am I going to be blocked down the line? And this is mm -hmm. one project where you can definitely say, no, this is a forever view. Yeah. You are sandwiched right between High Park and essentially the lake. lake yeah. You're you're right there on Lakeshore. Uh, Windermere, to be exact, is at, at the base of that. Um, you're across from the parks and beaches and Martin Goodman Trail. But the big thing is. Lake Ontario. Yep. If you want to walk into your unit, um, you want that expansive that, water, that view. Yeah. water view that everybody pictures in movies and television, you get this here. And that was what people were excited about in the first tower. Yeah, yeah and you mentioned yeah. forever views, and I think the reason there is because to the south, you've got the park, which is protected, mm -hmm. you've got the lakeshore, yes. um, and those views to the south are spectacular yeah, they're, they're incredible yeah. yeah and like like you said if you want that view where you walk into the suite and all you see is lake mm -hmm. there's very few places in toronto that you're going to get that and this yeah. one is there and it's guaranteed where you aren't paying necessarily you know, Those an arm and a leg yeah. as well <laughs> so we'll get into that later but in terms of pricing it's going to be extremely extremely competitive in that sense so for people that are wanting something like that maybe a little bit outside of the city this is the project for you yeah it's always easy to get so drawn to the south views, the Lake Ontario, but mm -hmm. what's amazing here is that the north views here are also yep, incredible. For sure. Yep. Um, to the north is High Park. And mm -hmm. if the south side had nothing, and it was just the High Park views, mm -hmm. people would be fixated on the fact that it's High Park views. Yeah, for sure. Um, so even the views to the north were overlooking High Park. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The views are spectacular even, sure. even on that side as well. Forever views all, all around. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, going into the second uh, sort of key point here is that uh, Mirabella West Tower with the with the new launch is that um, we get a chance to uh, to work on the same units that were sold out from the first tower. Um, yeah. We already know those units that were very very popular in the first tower. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big focus on those south units becoming available again, um, and it's important to to highlight that. I mean, there was two or three floor plans in the first phase that were that were super popular that they yeah. got picked up within you know days of the launch mm -hmm. do you want to just quickly highlight those well i mean speaking to just speaking to people that i worked with in the project last time who who missed out on it they weren't sure you know it was sort of a time in the market where people were a little bit hesitant who we were coming mm -hmm. out of last spring and all that and summer and people weren't quite sure and i spoke to a lot of people who were kind of regretting the fact that at those at that time they had south units available and they didn't take it for sure. So this is a time where we're launching this fall where we say, okay, listen, things have stabilized now in terms of the market and everything like that. It's boomed like a lot of people know, but there's still, like I said, in pricing, it's still really good, really competitive. And now you have another chance to get these self units yeah, and these sure. self floor plans. And they're really, really nice. One plus den and not 500 square feet, like, you know, 525 yeah. square feet. We're looking at... 700 square feet mm -hmm. and we're looking at two beds that are going to be close to 800 square feet so yeah. it's people who are downsizing for sure um, there's still enough space there for you and again the trade-off is hey listen you've got forever views in the lake but those one plus dens for those young professionals or uh, even a young family or someone like that they're going to be amazing we didn't really talk much about in terms of the, the north floor yeah. plans or anything like that but I just remember that it was people who were yeah, was, on the sell side, do, they were really regretful of not mm -hmm. you know, taking that them. opportunity now. So now that these floor plans are coming back out, it's, this, is, this is the chance. Like, you're not sure. going to get sell views like this mm -hmm. at this price again for a very, very long time, if yeah. ever. Yeah, and I, I do recall there was those couple of units, the 680 square foot yeah. to 700 square foot, one plus dens were 
picked oh, up like no up, time. Yeah. The corner units, the 975 to 1,000 square foot corner south units that were yeah. gone in no time, yeah. uh, those are going to be available again. And, and mm -hmm. again, we anticipate the, the demand on those to be, to be huge with yeah. the forever views to, to Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, so we've already talked about the views, um, but the third reason that people really got excited about Mirabella was the proximity, like how close you are to mm -hmm. Lake Ontario, to mm -hmm. Hyde Park, to walking trails. And you kind of touched on it already, but go through some of the some of that that information again and, and sure. highlight. Like we talk about Hyde Park in terms of the view being there. Well, if you can see it, you're yeah. really close to it. Uh -huh. And so you're about a two minute drive away from Hyde Park. I mean, if you're a cyclist or a runner or something like that, you're maybe you know, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to paddle across the pond, you might be even closer. Um, but it's right there. It's two minutes away. Um, you have all the parks that are there. Uh, Sir Kasimir Gazowski, for our Polish friends, very difficult park name in Toronto, but that's right there. It has the beach right on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunnyside Park is right beside it. Go a little bit further west, you have Martin Goodman Trail. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge walking And these trails. are right across the street. Yeah, these are right there. Right, literally yeah. south of the, the building. Exactly. So if you, that whole beautiful stretch along Lakeshore that you might drive most mm -hmm. of the time you see people running and cycling yeah. and, and, and walking like that is going to be your area yeah it's, it's gonna be your front door at your front door it's at your yeah. front door it's absolutely beautiful and then you know if you want to go to king west west queen west you want to go just downtown for a quick bite to eat something like that maybe once a week go, mm -hmm. go out for dinner all those things are right there and they're 10 minutes away yep so you have everything at your doorstep in terms of leisure and if you mm -hmm. want to go out into the city it's right there so it's really really nicely located yeah not a lot around in terms of uh, a lot of residential where it's packed and you have a lot of people around you so if you, you know if you like that sort of tranquility piece you've got it but then everything is right next door as well so it's a really nice location mm -hmm. jumping into the next area which is which is another one that we really saw people resonate with in the first phase and um, that was working with Diamante as a builder. Uh, Diamante are a builder that focuses on higher-end mm -hmm. buildings. They've got mm -hmm. buildings in, uh, in Yorkville. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to do very, very well on the resale market. Um, and one of the things that, that really resonated with the audience that was buying here was this sort of classical mm -hmm. uh, architecture and design and high-end mm -hmm. finishes. Mm -hmm. um, it's very apparent. You look at the portfolio. Yeah, it's you can see like where where they get the inspiration for Mirabella. Um, you look at say Do Domus in Yorkville or One Balmoral, which are both Diamante projects, both magnificently designed architecturally, and you can see where the inspiration is drawn from. And they've won two awards: Domus, yeah. Phoebe on Queen, both yeah. in Project of the Year, the year that they were built. Mm -hmm. Very, I would call it more of like a European classical style like these are the kind of buildings where people go well what's it going to look like in 20 30 years yeah, yeah this these ones can stand the test of time sure so if you like those types of buildings those types of, of finishes like this is another this is going to really draw you to it yeah for yeah. sure um one of the last things i wanted to touch on was um you you briefly touched on it was price mm -hmm. points yeah um for those south lake views protected views um, I know you've done some, you, Mike, you, you looked at this a little bit mm -hmm. um, and compared it to downtown Toronto. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll take an example of like properties on the lake, let's say. If you mm -hmm. want to buy something right on the lake, downtown, I mean, you're going to be looking at easily, easily $1,500 per square foot plus. Yeah. No. Entry point. For that lake view. For unit. that lake view unit right on the water. And so we don't have an exact price point now. Protected lake view. Protected right lake, water. Protect, protected lake view, That's yes. Key. Forever views. Yeah. We don't have an exact price point now, but I can tell you that it will not be anywhere near yeah. $1,500 per square foot. It's going to be significantly sure. better than that. Mm -hmm. Much more affordable, uh, much more competitive, and one where I think people are going to look at it and say, like they did last fall, and say, mm -hmm. okay, this makes a lot of sense just outside of the city. And it, as, as well, on top of that, to get in at the kinds of price points we're anticipating mm -hmm. to get into a building that looks like this, the yeah. kinds of level yeah. of quality of finish that they're yeah. going to be getting. It's, it's a very good package. It's a very appealing package for, for a lot of end yeah. So Mirabella West Tower uh, launching early September. Uh, we talked about the views, forever views to the south, Lake Ontario, to the north, High Park. Uh, we talked about this exciting release of previously sold out suites that mm -hmm. were gone like that when they launched a year ago. Uh, we talked about the proximity to High Park, to Lake Ontario. 
Um, we talked about the luxury builder with a focus on this classical architecture with high-end finishes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talked about the prices compared to similar projects uh, closer to the core. Um, so all in all, we're very, very excited about Mirabella Condos. Definitely. Super yeah. excited. Um, and for more information, stay tuned to Talk Condo. And for platinum access, get in contact with us, and it will be launching very soon. Thank you very much.